Welcome to the NatFL channel. Today we will bring to you three news about Miami Dolphins that are of interest to the fans. 1. Why did Dolphins cutting Isaiah Wilson? 2. McKinney Musings, reaction to trade, being physical, playing with Watson, and more. 3. We may never know if the Miami Dolphins truly wanted Deshaun Watson. Now we get to the first news. Why did Dolphins cutting Isaiah Wilson? So much for the idea of the Miami Dolphins getting a steal with their trade for tackle Isaiah Wilson. The Dolphins have waived the 2021st round pick three days after they officially announced his acquisition from the Tennessee Titans. The Dolphins got Wilson in a 2022 seventh round pick for a 2021 seventh round selection which was an absurdly small cost to take the chance that Wilson could get on the right path after a troubling rookie season with Tennessee. The decision to cut Wilson will cost the Dolphins nothing financially because all his contract guarantees were voided in Tennessee, so the only cost of waiting a year on a seventh-round pick. Just in the short time since the Dolphins acquired him, Wilson showed up late for his physical, late for his team orientation and skipped two optional workouts that he had committed to attend, a source told Adam Beasley of the Miami Herald. On Friday, a video from his Instagram account showed Wilson dancing on top of a car and appearing to be vaping. Wilson was the 29th overall selection in the 2020 NFL Draft, but the Tennessee Titans had enough after a series of incidents that included an arrest for DUI. The Dolphins had hoped they could get Wilson straightened out, partly because of his connection with head coach Brian Flores from attending the same high school, Poly Prep in Brooklyn, New York. Veteran offensive lineman Roger Safford, Wilson's teammate in Tennessee, offered his thoughts on the Wilson news and Twitter. In a best-case scenario, Wilson would have fulfilled his potential and competed at some point for the starting right tackle job. The worst-case scenario is pretty much what materialized, which only reinforced the idea that it wasn't a bad gamble at all because of the low cost and small-time investment involved. The decision to cut Wilson, though, should serve as a reminder that it's safe to always temper enthusiasm whenever the Dolphins pick up a reclamation project, whether it be off the field issues or underperforming, because those unfortunately seem to go south more often than not. We've already seen it in recent years with the Dolphins with players like Antonio Callaway, Mark Walton and Taco Charlton. See the notion that Wilson should have been expected to play a key role on the offensive line was off base from the start. This was a gamble from the beginning and it simply didn't pay off. Now the Dolphins move on with the same group of guards and tackles with which they ended the 2020 season, Austin Jackson, Robert Hunt, Jesse Davis, Eric Flowers, and proceed as they would have had the Isaiah Wilson episode never happen. Next news will be, McKinney Musings, Reaction to Trade, Being Physical, Playing with Watson, and more. Linebacker Benardrick McKinney said he was shocked when he found out he was being traded to the Miami Dolphins, but he's excited about the opportunity. McKinney spoke to the South Florida media Thursday, one day after his acquisition in a trade with the Houston Texans became official. To get McKinney, along with a 2021 seventh-round pick, the Dolphins gave up edge defender Shaq Lawson in a 2021 sixth-round pick. I haven't really watched the Dolphins' defense, but I do trust that the coaches will put me in the best spot to be able to make plays and wherever they put me out on the field I'm gonna be Bernard McKinney and be physical. I love learning defenses. I just love playing defense and my style of the game. Everybody knows that I'm a big backer. I'm a downhill backer. I love to play physical. McKinney is a pure middle linebacker, though he says he can play on the edge if that's what the coaches want him to do. Likewise, he says he's comfortable in any scheme. I'm a linebacker, McKinney said. I've been playing football all my life. Played 4-3 to three before, played 3-4 to four before. I mean, the coaches, the D coordinator is gonna do what's best for the defense, and if we play 3-4, to 4-3, four, four to diamond, whatever, you just put me in a position and I'm going to play my style of game and just do my job. Having come from Houston, no one should be surprised that McKinney was asked about Deshaun Watson the three-time Pro Bowl quarterback who has requested a trade and whose name has been linked with the Dolphins. While he wasn't about to make predictions on what will happen with Watson, McKinney did offer praise when asked about playing with the quarterback. Deshaun is definitely a great leader of the Texans organization, McKinney said. He's very athletic, taking one day at a time. He pushes guys to the best of their ability. That's a great guy all around. He's a great friend. I love playing against him.
It's hard playing against him at practice because of the things he can do, and just watching him play on Sundays or whenever we play is unbelievable. He competes in how takes everything. The final news is, we may never know if the Miami Dolphins truly wanted Deshaun Watson. The days of Deshaun Watson being on the trade block with the Miami Dolphins are over. Right or wrong, his future is now in limbo. For months, Miami Dolphins fans have heard nothing but Deshaun Watson trade talk. Miami was willing to give up not just two first-round picks this year, but likely one next year and the year after and on top of that, players. Now, it would be more shocking if they offered a bag of chips. Deshaun Watson is in trouble. The allegations made against him are not good and while I will not try to pass any opinion on those troubles we can say that it is a good thing Miami didn't try to work something out earlier. The legal process for Watson is just starting and if you are not sure what we are referring to, you may want to search it on your own. Watson has been the face of the Houston Texans, a community image that has been untarnished. Until now, while he denies any wrongdoing, we can't help but wonder about these allegations coming at the time that they did. Many do not believe that coincidence is playing a part in this but instead having the allegations made public as free agency started, is. Regardless of whether they are true or not, we can certainly guess that the Dolphins will not be picking up the phone to offer a trade package. What interest the Dolphins ever had in Watson will be left to the local media who cover the team and whether or not they have said Miami was all in on the QB. In other words, no one will come out and admit they were wrong and that Miami never was looking. Chris Greer could put those rumors to rest sometime down the road should he desire. Once he is away from the team, in April, the Dolphins will have their allotment of draft picks barring some major unforeseen change in all of this chaos leads to a trade that right now no one would believe. For all the talk over the last two months, it all comes crashing down in a manner of days. At least a trade hadn't happened before all of this. Now, the team is once again Tua Tungavailoas and that is the way it should have been from the start.